Good morning. Good morning, everyone. I know it's bright and early on Saturday, but but my family. Um, this is Dean and Eli, and I'm Carrie. By the way, I'm the one that is selling Color Street with our dear hostess Jacqueline hosting for us. So this is a fun party, guys. But um, I'm actually in Orlando today. We're going to this thing called the Maker's Fair. And so I forgot, well, I took a breather. So I always think um, naked nails are important throughout like your life of nail polish and stuff. So I took a breather for the last week. Plus I started a new job, so I didn't really have time to put on my nails. So anyway, um, I am going to show you how to do a live application using Color Street. So I have decided I want to do Peacock Throne. This one's called, it looks like a bunch of peacocks. I also have some resealed colors that I've done in the past. So I have some greens and blacks that I think would look really good with the peacock. So I'm gonna reuse some of the strips that I saved. Sorry, and in order to save strips, when you're done, you just put them back in the package, and then I use my flat iron and just nip it real quick. This one, it looks white, but it's really our clear as day, and I usually put this over my solids. My nails can sometimes be a little bendable and a little weak, so I always put the clear as day on top of the to make them last for a very long time. So anyway, let's get started. So first things first. Oh man, hold on. I gotta get it out of the package. <laughs> so this is what comes in a Color Street package. You get eight different sizes of Peacock Throne, but there's actually two yeah. sheets of this. So there's 16 strips of one set. Plus you get some prep pads. Oh, hold on. Some alcohol wipes and you get a nail file. So the nail file is obviously to shape your nails and then the alcohol wipe is to get all the oils and all the lotions off of your fingers. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that first. I'm gonna wipe down all of my fingers. And you know, I'm thinking about doing my toes too because my feet are not, I have no color on my toenails as well. I took a break with those two. So, I think I might do that, but I'll spare you guys having to look at my toes. So, all right. So here we go. I'm gonna open up the package. The wonderful thing about this nail polish too is you can do it with anyone in the room, like kids, anything, because if you drop it, like that's the, most that you've spilt your nail polish, right? So, so what you do is I start with my finger and I work my way to my thumb because I've realized that I use my thumb a lot as a application tool. Sorry, or as a tool like to help tuck it under my other nails. So, I'm gonna start with my pinky. So let me grab, what you do is you grab the different sizes and you measure it up to your fingers. So this looks like a pretty solid fit right here, right? I'm trying to think of what ones I want as my accent nails too. Well, we'll just see how it turns out. So you take off the clear, then you pull the polish off of the backing. So this is literally the polish. You pull off the little tab, and then, you place it on your finger. So be careful not to get it on your cuticle. If you get it on your cuticle, it will lift up a little bit. So if that happens to you, you can always lift it up like this and reposition it. But um, if you do get it on your cuticle, you can always go back through with a file or some scissors when you notice it's lifting and just kind of like scrape it off. Or if you have one of those, they're called orange sticks, but it's a cuticle pusher type thing. You can always go through with that. So you put it on your finger, or your fingernail, I should say, and push it up. Make sure all the ridges and all of the wrinkles are out. Let me push it down on the side really good. 
And then this is how I use my thumb as a tool. Hold on, I have a wrinkle in the feather. I just push it under the pinky nail. I don't know if you can see this. I push it under the pinky nail and I kind of perforate it. And voila! I have a whole designed fingernail right now. This stuff is like incredible, right? So I'm gonna take my leftovers and this is how most people get more than one manicure out of each set. I'm gonna take the other side and I'm gonna place it on another nail. So this one fits my ring finger on the other hand. The strips are also tapered, so one side of this strip is bigger than the other one, and it's to accommodate for your more dominant hand, which is pretty cool that they thought about that when they invented these. So, same thing, you put it on, don't get it on your cuticle. This one I did a little bit, so I'll show you how you get it off. So you push up, you get all the wrinkles, all the bridges and wrinkles out. Make sure you push it down pretty, fairly hard. And then you tuck it under your nail. And you can use a file for this part or you can use your other fingernails. It depends on your length and stuff. And you just perforate it. So I push it under the nail and I perforate and pull off the excess. And there you have it. So this was done using one strip, right? So like I said, I got some on the cuticle right here. So I am just going to go through, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm gonna go through with my thumbnail and just clean it up real quick. This is where you can use an um, orange stick or a cuticle stick or a cuticle pusher, I think they're called. You can use your nail file or you can use your thumbnail. And that is it. Should I do another one, guys? Like, now I have some peacocks on my fingers. So you leave it on there for about 20 to 30 minutes without washing your hands or putting on lotion or anything like that. So that way it has time to adhere. You don't want any moisture to rub the polish off but you can literally go about and do anything i can go feed the kids i can go do whatever i need to do and that's it and then it stays on for roughly 14 days and then the way you take it off is with nail polish remover some people go back with the alcohol prep pad and go over the polish to help set it a little more quickly i don't usually but that is an option as well but there you go that's it. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do one more nail. And then, also, like I said, I'm just gonna tell you that um, for Halloween, I did some with the, some nails with the green and the black and made some Halloween designs. So I resealed them, so I just shoved everything back in the original packaging and tapped it with my flat iron, so there's been no air in here. And when you do that, they'll probably last for like another two months or so. Um, Try it out if you have leftovers. Try it out because it's not guaranteed by Color Street. It's just a way that you can get more out of your strips. So I'm going to do one more just to show you guys how I do it. Actually, let me do, use this one. This one, I think it is. This pinky is really small, so this small one usually works best for me. Okay, so you peel off the top clear cover. Sorry for the background noise. We're in Orlando. Getting ready for the Maker's Fair. So, you peel the polish off from the back. Pull off the little tab. And then I'm going to use this side for this pinky. You put it on, don't get it on your cuticle. Push it up and push it down so it really adheres. Push it under your nail. And perforate it a little bit. Again, this is where you can use the nail file if you want. 
And look, there it is. That's it. And I still have this. And like I said, I think I'm going to do my toes, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. But um, one last thing, whenever I use solids, I try to put the clear as day on it or a top coat. It makes them last a little longer. Or you can double up on the solids. Um, if your nails are weak or bendable or anything, the solids may crack. So it, um, I'm just going to advise to put either the, a clear coat on top or maybe double them up unless you have really strong nails. Uh, I think that's it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I'm going to go ahead and finish my nails, and then I'll post a photo of them when they're done. All right. Chat later, ladies. Bye.